What are you doing here? Ivy said she heard a loud bang coming from inside the potions classroom. I knew you were here, so what did you- Nothing. Well, nothing much. I only spilled something. The one he brought for care of magical creatures class. How could I forget? That thing was huge. And the horn that made things explode, that was... Oh. Oh, no. oh yes. And believe me when I say pure irrumpent exploding fluid definitely lives up to its name. Thanks to me, it's all gone. Professor Slughorn is going to... Can't you replace it? What? You want to get it from a live irrumpent? Are you mental? No, of course not. But maybe we could find a shop that sells it. We might have to sneak in, but if we hurry, we can replace the bottle before the professor notices it's missing. I don't think we can get any explosion fluid in Diagon Alley. What well, I heard, when some wizards want to buy something dangerous, Diagon Alley is the place to go. Are you sure we should be buying exploding fluid from someone on the street? Is that even legal? What choice do we have? No other shop even sells it. Obviously, Professor Slughorn got his from some place. I just hope it's not too expensive. Daniel, look. I think that wizard is trying to get our attention. You're the one looking for exploding fluid. Maybe. Do you have any? Not on me, but I know where I can get- I'll be here. There, you see? No problem. As long- Daniel, don't you get it? Where do you think they're going to find an rumpet in England? It must be the one Hagrid brought to class. They're going to steal his horn! Bloody hell, you're right. We have to warn Hagrid. Come on! Here. But where's Hagrid? No time to find him now. We have to stop them. A pug no, a rumpet, incarcerate, monster book. Rumpin still looks upset. Wait, Daniel, you always have a potion or two in your pocket, don't you? Right, let's see. I've got Amertentia, that's a love potion, definitely not. Essence of Ditney. Hmm. Ah, here we go. A calming draught. Even better! There's some exploding fluid pooled near where the Arumpan smashed- Wow, we protected the Arumpan and you got what you needed! I can't believe everything worked out so well!
chewing out this l Hey, keep it down. Filch is in an especially foul mood tonight. The last thing I need is detention. If you must know, I'm going to pick herbs in the forest. I need some fluxweed, which has to be picked during a full moon. To what potion? Wait, never mind. But it's still dangerous in the Forbidden Fall. I'm not going to spend the night. Just pick a few herbs and be on my way. And besides, I'll be perfectly safe with... Ugh, fine. I'll go. But uh, you really ought to be more careful. Robert? Is she still trying to teach Kevin to fly? Because it was probably just him whimpering. No, she said it sounded like animals fighting. Well, then we should definitely go. If there are any strange happenings in the forest, Hagrid will want to know- Hmm, maybe you're right. Come on, let's go. Strange. There's a fire still burning. That's odd. Maybe someone else is out hunting Moon- Wait, what's that smell? You didn't spill a potion nearby, did you, Daniel? No, of course not. But that does smell familiar. Like a potion I can't quite remember. Maybe we should look around to see if we can find the source. We don't want any surprises. It's almost out, and there are herb stocks scattered about. Very curious. This tent look and there are footprints around. The smell is stronger here, and the leaves are wet, almost as if they were splashed with a potion. Did you find anything? I did. I think someone was brewing a potion. They had discarded herb stalks around the fire, but whatever they were brewing attracted attention. There are signs of a struggle beside the tent, and that's where the smell is strongest. Whatever the potion was, the brewer spilled a lot of it there. I recognize these herb stalks. That's scurvy grass, that's lovage, and that's sneezewort. What is it, Daniel? Of course, it's a befuddlement draught. I just made this last week. But why would someone brew it out here? What does it do? Well, if you or I took a sip, we'd become agitated, confused, you know, befuddled. What if it was given to a magical creature? I don't know. Persians don't affect beasts the same as wizards, or it might make them very unpredictable. to find out exactly what Time to 
Katana. Transfiguration spell. Transfiguration spell. Cornish Pixie. Swelling solution. Nicely done. Thanks, but I feel bad about the beasts. Do you think they'll be okay? The effects of the potion should wear off in time. We can tell Hagrid so he can check on them to make if we're lucky. He'll be concerned enough that he'll forget to give us detention. Hmm, good idea. Still, why would... They were probably trying to hide what they were up to. Especially if it was for a prank. Unless... No, that doesn't make sense. What? I suppose you think they were testing it on animals, just to see what it would do, right? That's rather ominous. You're right. It was probably just a prank on a rye. I hope so. I'm just glad it's over. Me too. But at least we did discover a good use for a befuddlement draft. You're right. If we're ever confronted by a large group of foes... Kevin, studying hard as usual. Yes. Ah, I wish my... That's because it's there. But don't bother looking for the charm in any of these books. I think she learned from the fellow who owns the joke shop. Do you mean Weasley's Wizard Weezers? Ah, oh, another studious young customer. Looking to skive off lessons, are we? For that, I'd suggest a fever fudge. Or perhaps a nosebleed nougat. No? Well, nothing makes a scene quite like puking pastels. No, sorry. Nothing like that. I was hoping you could help me with a charm. I heard you might know how to be with snowballs. You did, did you? Well... I suppose I might have dabbled in the frozen arts when I was younger. Nothing says Happy Christmas like a fat snowball to the back of the head. That's exactly what I need. Could you teach me the charm? I tried learning it on my own, but none of my snowballs came close to the target. The secret to a charm like this is practice. If you like, I can give you a few tips. Really? That would be wonderful. Come on. There's a snowman outside we can put a target on.
bewitched snowballs. Bewitched snowballs. Bewitched snow. Bewitched snowballs. Merlin's... Your instruction made all the difference, Mr. Weasley. Thank you so much for your help. I'm the one who should be thanking you. Oh, why is that? I haven't played in the snow in ages. I forgot how much fun it is. And, funny thing, you're not the first Hogwarts student to ask about bewitching snowballs. I know, that's why I'm here. I'm tired of being on the receiving end of Robin's perfect strikes. Ha! Well, after today, you won't have to worry about that. She'll never see it coming. Now, how about a skiving snack box? For you, 50% off. Welcome to Gringotts. How very well are your total top? Welcome to Gringotts. Okay. Well. 